Oh, if you want to tag anything or pin anything, you know how to do it. Like if it's a comment, you want to pin. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yo, CPG, what's going on? I'm here downtown at Liberty Place. You know, we do our Liberty Place interviews. I'm here with some great people. They're going to tell you about their product, their brand. You guys might have seen them. But we put this bad boy right quick. Right here. So as you can see, I'm here with uh, Amima and Kiana. So we're going to get <laughs> we're going to get the interviews popping. We down here at Liberty Place. We're going to have a good time. Uh, we've been busting it up with the other people. I've been getting to know them and everything like that. These people got more chemistry than periodic table. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go from left to right. We're going to ask them a series of questions, and they're going to let you guys know about their company and their brand and what they represent. So. Uh, Miss to the left, we're just going to start with you. State your name for the record. I am Jamika Smith. That's my government name, but everybody call me Coach J, CBD tea dealer, and I'm Hamima Beach Bum Smith on Facebook. Okay. Okay, absolutely. And who are you? I am Kiana Sparks. So I'm supposed to go into all of that stuff that she went into also. How oh, they God, find me and everything. <laughs> So, Kiana Sparks, and on Instagram, it's Sparks Kiana, S-P-A-R-K-S-K-E-O-N-A. -E on Facebook, it's just Kiana Sparks. I don't have all that whole full-blown story like her. Uh, all right, so, so let me bag us up. So, you guys, what is the name of your company? TLC, Total Life Change. So like change, okay. Do people get it confused with like uh, different businesses, like the musical people, left eye and all them? <laughs> Want to hear it? CLC. Okay, so how did you two guys meet? I'm gonna give it to her. <laughs> okay, so I started with Total Life Changes, and you know, we do live videos, we talk about the product, and I was watching a live video, and she she was on there, so, and she was so, so she was on Facebook doing a live video. I saw her, she was at 52nd Street. She had her tea. She was going to go. I said, oh my goodness, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. So I instant messaged her on Instagram. Me and her started talking. And then it was history ever since. We've been stuck together like Pinky in the Brain, Superman, Batman. We together. <laughs> That's it. Well, no doubt. Well, let's get into uh, a little bit of you guys' origin and things like that. Um, we already talked behind the scenes, but I know you guys still got some more interesting facts. So, where did you grow up at, Mr. I grew up in North Philadelphia, Huntington Park. That's where I grew up with all my Spanish friends I love my Spanish people. And I just love it. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> And where'd you go? Right so I was born and raised in Baltimore, Maryland. Came to Philly when I was Shout ten. Lamar Jackson. And <laughs> <laughs> I have just been in every part of Philadelphia. So I have been all over. Okay, now I'm in North Okay, <laughs> Now, what is a good childhood memory that you have when you're growing up in Baltimore? Okay, so my childhood memory that I have is when I was five. And I was like already selling stuff at five. I used to sell free spots. So back in the day, you know, everybody know what Kool-Aid is. So we used to take the Kool-Aid and put it in a cup and freeze it, a whole lot of them. And I used to sell them for 50 cents in a quarter. And I used that money to go to California. My grandma took me to Disney Disneyland. So that is my favorite memory because at the age of five, I made my own spending money to go to Disneyland. Dang, at age five? That's major. All right, let's, let's elaborate a little bit more about you guys' background. Uh, your background, what, before you got to this company, what were you doing before? I am a nurse, I'm an LPN. I was doing um, psychiatric nursing, pediatric nursing, geriatric nursing, and hospice. So I took care of the patients that was dying. Um, I started doing um, total life changes in 2018. It's been a year for me. And I gave my job back to the economy. Full time. This is what I do. What about you? So prior to this, I worked at Presbyterian Medical Center. I was a pre-cert coordinator, so that means that I had to make sure that anybody that was coming in for treatment in the oncology department, whatever services they may require, that it gets paid with the insurance company. So I had to make sure that 
their diagnosis matched the insurance records and we got paid pretty much. So there I was able to see a lot of people come in and see different scenarios where doctors would give, or a patient would come in for one thing and then the doctor would give them medication and they would ha end up having multiple ailments by the time they left. And then I would just see different people's, um, how their mood was and their energies and how long they survived and just their whole treatment level and then that just made me want to help people. Not, not only that, I went to school for psychology so I just, I just love the way that people work and it just makes me want to help them. Okay, that's real nice. So dealing with your past occupations, what are the things that um, prepare you for today's type of things that you do? Like in short, what are the type of occupations that you had that prepared you for total life changes? Then, having a, by me being a nurse and I had a huge medical background, um, that's what helped me get through being a life changer. Um, I know all the products, I know what they do, how they work. Um, if you have an ailment, like for instance, if you have diabetes, speak up a little more. We do not make medical claims, but these products help aid in diabetes, high blood pressure. Um, if you have anxiety, these products work. Versus if you take the medication that the doctor prescribed for you, you're not getting the full dosage of the med. And it's not all natural. So when you take the med, it's going to cause a domino effect. But me having a medical background, that's what helps me so well with this business that I do because I know about the products and I know what can help heal. And I always practice holistic medicine. So that's why I'm just good at it. It's, it's easy for me, but it can be hard for somebody else that don't have a medical background because they would be afraid to talk about the product. And that's what I stress a lot. Like I get people that come to me and they're like, oh, I don't know about the product. And that's how to like time. deal with people in different types of situations? Yeah, different situations. What about you, Ms. Piazza? So, I forgot the question. Yeah, how has the different occupations that you had in the past helped you with your current company? Oh, okay, so, um, being as though I was working in the hospital, I was in radiology, hematology, um, oncology, so I was in all of those different departments. So, I was able, I have a, yeah, I have a little bit of medical background also. So, but I was able to see people, right? And like I said before, I was able to see that they were prescribed one thing and end up having to take a whole lot of different stuff, a lot of different ailments. And it looked like they were going backwards. They were not progressing. And, that I, and I just felt like I wanted to help people more. So not only that, I'm really big on personal development. And I feel like I want to take people from whatever situation they might be in and get them to a better place. So I've already... Um, I just wanted to do that. I just love, love helping people. So I just put that into this business. I already love helping people. I'm very passionate at that. I had a little bit of medical background. I got energy out the kazoo. And so I took my fitness, became a Zumba instructor, fitness, health and wellness, partnered that up along with bringing light to people and then just putting all of that together and just helping people. So that's what I did. Now that's super. Now let's just go right to uh, Total Life Changes. How long has Total Life Changes been in business? The Total Life Changes has been in business for 20 years. 20. We gonna be 21, a whole grown adult next year. Ooh. And we yes. are a debt-free company. Debt-free company, AAA Better Business Bureau. We are global. It's amazing. Yes. We started in Detroit in the basement of my CEO because he just wanted to help me. Jack found. Just wanted to help people. So we have been around for 20 years. Okay. And the first product 20 years ago was this amazing product, Nutriverse. Okay? So. Alright, let's go. Let's so for the people who just tuned in, what actually does TLC, like, what do they specialize in? Is it like health products or what? Actually, this is a detox, believe it or not. We do all health and wellness. Everything yeah, health and wellness. We do a little bit of everything. If you want to gain weight, we have stuff for that. If you want to lose weight, we have stuff for that. It's a detox tea, so what it does, it removes the toxin from your body, and that's what causes people to lose weight. So if you say if you have um, anxiety, um, depression, 
We have something for every thing. Period. We got you. So people who want to gain weight, people want to lose weight. What about people who want to go to sleep or get oh, muscle tone? Yeah, so or? I, I, like total life changes is basically what it is. It's a whole total life change. So regardless of to what you might be looking for, whether you're wanting to lose weight, gain weight, we have skincare, we're in the health and wellness industry, we're in the coffee industry, um, we're in the CBD industry, we're in the home-based yeah. business industry. So we have a lot to offer. Not only that, we're very, very big on personal development and branding the individual person. So that's what Total Life Changes is. It encompasses more than just the products. It's the energy. Like, it's a whole energy with this particular company because it's not... It, you can definitely lose weight. You can definitely gain weight. You know, you can definitely enhance your health. But more than that, you can come into a community of people that is going to help you with anything in your life. Not specifically product based. Are you going to allow support with it? A whole lot of support. A yes. whole, whole lot of support. Absolutely. Okay. Um, so, you know me, I'm big on teams, hence the Cool People's Networking Group. Absolutely. So, when we, when we do this type of stuff, um, there's multi-level marketing, and you already know that there are misnomers when it comes to multi-level marketing. So just in a nutshell, elaborate to the people watching at home, on the TV, in the military barracks, wherever they may be, what is multi-level marketing? So <laughs> multi-level marketing, MLM, a lot of people are so super scared of it. They say it's a scam. They say it's a pyramid, right? They feel like it's all about product pushing and taking people's money and building a team, right? Not true. And if that is the case, then I want to just flip your brain a little bit and let you think about your job where you work. Let's say me working at the hospital. Mm -hmm. This type of pyramid scam here. So we've got the CEO at the top. Right? Then we've got the managers, then we've got the supervisors, then we've got the worker bees at the bottom. Is that not a pyramid scheme? I'm just saying, gotta get y'all to think about stuff on a different level. So, if y'all tell it, <laughs> I'm, I'm being real with y'all. So, a pyramid scheme basically is what we're living in. So, you gotta take things for what they are and use it to your advantage. Now, here at Total Life Changes, we all help each other. So, yes, we are definitely building a team. Yes, we are definitely pushing products, but our products are really helping people change their lives on a daily basis. So it's really helping people enhance their health. So it's definitely people over profits. Now, when you come as far as building a team, the team is supposed to help each other. So just like I said, if I'm building a team with Jay, then it behooves me to help Jay to build her team because I'm leveraging myself. Just like Oprah. So I'm going to talk to y'all like about Oprah. This is how it works. This is how the game works. Y'all been in the game. Y'all just ain't know y'all was in the game. Exactly. So Michael Jackson, <laughs> Oprah and them, they get residual income. Pyramid scheme. Yep. Okay? Everybody is getting residual income if you think about it. So what Oprah did is she had her own show first. Boom. It was called the Oprah Show. Y'all all know about it. Yep. Which, which y'all didn't know is after Oprah, she had Dr. Phil. She had Rachel Ray. She had Dr. Oz. On her show at first, they were just doing segments. That's it. Yep, yep. But because they were so good, they went off and branched off and got their own show. But the boss said, y'all started on my show, so I'm going to get a cut of that. Right? So now, Rachel Ray's out there making all those nice, pretty pots and pans. And pans. And guess who's Cookie getting the cut off of that? Oprah. Dr. Phil doing his thing. They all doing their thing, and Oprah gets a cut of that. So that is what we do it's here in T. Dr. Oz is a part yeah, of them. Dr. Oz, she got a whole, yeah, yeah. she got a book club. It's a whole, whole lot that she doing. So she got when y'all think network. of residual income and pyramid scheme, just think of Oprah. That's how your brain should but be working. But that's her network. That's well, her network. Well, hold on, hold on. Well, let's talk about people that's in the know, that know multi-level marketing is actually a good, th well, can be a good thing when you do play your cards right and do the right thing. How can somebody benefit from the TLC products and how can they benefit by coming aboard the team? Okay. Number one, to benefit, you're going to benefit. You cannot lose. You don't have nothing to lose but weight. So when you come into Total Life Changes, you're going to become a product of the product. First, you're going to work on you, you're going to help me. We have some people that come into Total Life Changes, they don't want to be a customer. They just want to, you know, they want to just do retail. They want to 
be a part of the business because they want the money. But you have actual people that want to come into the business that want to try to buy them. So that's the first step that you would do. You would just become a product of the brand. And okay. you are going to feel good and start to look good. It's just like a domino effect. So what's after that? Can you break it down? <laughs> so break it down. Yeah, break All right. Down. So I look at it like this. You are already promoting everything that you do. You go to the movies, you promote that. You tell your friends and family, oh, you got to go see this movie. You go to a restaurant, you have great food. You tell your friends and family, oh, you got to go to this restaurant. However, you're not getting a cut from any of them. Yeah. You guys just promoted Papa, what, what the heck? Sandwich, Popeye sandwich, like crazy. I like crazy and got Popeye so much money. Y'all look like drink money. champs. Did you eat? Y'all got Popeye so much money for free. Y'all did all of that free marketing for free. However, when you come into a company, right, and you got these products that I'm now promoting, they, they good for me, I'm using it, and I'm telling you how great they are for me and what they're doing for me, but I'm telling you. This saved so my life. So when you take that product, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go tell your family and friends, they're gonna ask you, right? And now I'm not promoting for free. I'm getting a cut out of what I'm using. So I got toothpaste, I'm getting a cut of that. I, I use coffee. I'm getting a cut of that. Yeah. I drink tea. I get a cut of that. It's a lifestyle. And Jack I get a cut so off nice. my lifestyle. Can he give us so that Who's Jack? Y'all let him know who Jack is. You were promoting Jack, stuff, pretty much. Jack Fallon. He is okay. the CEO of Total Life Changes. All right, yeah. good job. Well, guys, um, there's a famous artist. You might know him. He says, I'm not only the client, but I'm a player president. So, mm -hmm. you, Amima, you guys had a uh, tremendous change uh, in the before and after picture. So, uh, you actually can testify to total life changes. So speak a little bit about about that. How you actually are a client and how it's worked for you. Okay, so when I started with total life changes, I am a travel agent. So I wanted to lose weight for my trip. My birthday was coming up. It was in January. My girlfriend I used to work with when I did my psychiatric nursing, she used to make sure my checks were straight. And she said, girl, she said, take this tea. She gave me the tea. I lost 10 pounds, y'all. How fast? 10 pounds, 10 pounds in the first week. That's crazy. No lie. Okay? I cannot make this up. The stuff don't give you the bubble guts, do it? No. So, okay. <laughs> All right. No. Okay. See, you gotta make it's sure. a detox and it's a gentle cleanse. So, I started. But me, you know, I was fooling around. I wasn't serious. So then May came. And I said, okay. Now, at this time, I wasn't in the business. I was just a customer. But I went to her and purchased the cash on hand. I wasn't even in the system. So when May came, I said, you know what? I'm going to just join. Because I said, how much money did you think? See, she never even talked about the money. But I asked her that question. When she showed me her back office, I said, wait, what? Sign me up. Because I already was convinced that the product worked in one week. So then I got another blue tea. I drank that. I started to lose. I stayed consistent. I introduced this right here, changed my life, and I cannot make this up. I was vitamin D deficient, um, I had uh, bone pain, muscle pain, joint pain, um, my hair was falling out, it was bad. And when I started to take this product right here, no more bone pain, no more muscle pain, no more joint pain, all really? it absorbs, yes, into the bloodstream 98%, it helped me, and I cannot just, I can just say thank you, Jack, Jack Fowler. He was the creator, and this is amazing. And wow. I lost over 85 pounds. 85? 85, over 85 pounds. I stopped counting. That's I good. stopped counting. Yeah, y'all was getting a lot of compliments and looks when y'all was at the Christmas party, so I see that y'all want to do that. So, no, I'm just keeping it big. So, <laughs> <laughs> so in short, Kiana, Tell us, what are your three favorite products that TLC has to offer? Oh my goodness, I got to pick three. Okay, um, that's a lot of them. That's a hard question. My three favorite products are. Okay. Dang, I got to pick three. I know. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. I like okay. the CBD okay. tea. <laughs> CBD tea. I know, right? <laughs> the CBD tea is awesome and amazing. That's one of my new favorite products because it tastes like lemonade a little bit. I drink it hot with honey in it. 
it gives me my whole life. Like skin looking like a shine, hair looking great, nails are growing. The glow. Right. The glow. Also, I love. Is that what I'm ordering? That's what you got. Okay. Yes. It's coming. It's coming to you. Yes. So, also, one of my favorite products is called Infinity Oil. It's emu oil. It's an emu oh, yeah. bird. They get the oil from the bird, right? The feathers of the bird oh, has oil in it. So, with it that, it does everything. I also put that's the only thing that I use in my hair. I also use that as a moisturizer. And then if I got a cut, a burn, a mosquito bite, I want to bring back some edges if I have indigestion. Yeah. E for everything. Just think of that. <laughs> emu does everything. That's why that's my second favorite. And then... You gotta say You can't because of uh, okay. And it's then also I would tell the tea also because my mom has IBS and without that she wouldn't be able to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So this has helped her as well. And then my son, so many, my son <laughs> with his nutrivers, he was well, he has asthma and allergies and asthma. Okay. So he was like getting windy, he couldn't run, he couldn't play basketball. He had to take Simpacort, which is a, uh, asthma medication, like a pump. Mm -hmm. So he had to take that in the morning before he went to school. And he had to take it at night before he went to bed. When he got on this Nutriverse, and I took him, he was on the Nutriverse for a month. I took him back to the doctor. The actual medication in the Simpacort was decreased by half. Mm -hmm. So that was great. What? Then, yeah. then he only had to take the pump once a day. Now. He only takes the pump on an as-needed basis. His lungs have gotten stronger. He can run and play because he likes to play basketball. So he can run and play and jump and do all of that stuff because of his nutrients and it helps him focus. Because with Asperger's, it's a form of autism. So he he has trouble focusing. Like it's real easy for him to get distracted. Child Children's Crisis Treatment Center. I work so with him. the nutrients will help him focus. Children it helps take him focus. It. Well. Natural products. And the product? teacher has told me okay. that it helps him. So. Yeah, so that's why I picked those three. But I really can't really pick three, but he made me do it, so. Because they're all fantastic. <laughs> because you also can give these products to your pets. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they're my natural. Dog, they're all natural. They're all natural. Um, my dog. Say it one uh, time. One time. You know how when the, the dog's ankle, like sometimes the fur will come off because they lay down, they just be daisy laying in one spot. So that's how his legs were. So I said, you know what? I want his fur to grow big because he, he's a brindle. He got tiger stripes. So I put the Nutriburst in his water and I sprinkled some of his food. <laughs> and he was trying to eat the food going around it like he didn't want to eat it. But he did because, you know, he get hungry and he eat. He didn't want to drink the water, but he drank it. Next thing you know, a week, his fur is growing big. This product make your hair grow. So if you losing edges and you having a problem because, you know, women, they like to wear the weaves and stuff, this Amen. will help. This will help. And I tried it out on me and my dog. And his fur is growing back. Well, so. check this out. Y'all y'all making the product sound all juicy and everything. Uh, tell us the websites that they got each uh, each of your websites where people can get these things from. Let us know your Instagram, how they can contact you, and about the consultation. Okay. So my name is Kiana on Facebook. Kiana Sparks, K-E-O-N-A-S-P-A-R-K-S on Facebook. On Instagram, I am the opposite, so last name first. So S-P-A-R-K-S, K-E-O-N-A. It's on Instagram. And then if you wanted to purchase any of these products that you saw, you can go to my website. The link is keysentialsofhealth.com. K-E-Y-S-S-E-N-T-I-A-L-S -S -E of O-F. Health. H-E-A-L-T-H <laughs> dot com. Okay? That is my website, and you can see all of these lovely products. You can also join my team if you want to do that as well, because we also help build income. What's the yes. name of your squad? My name of my squad is Team Resilient, because I believe that anybody, no matter who you are, where you come from, what situation you might be in, you have the ability to be resilient. You have the ability to bounce back. What's the so, name of your squad? I'm team resilient too because strength and numbers, okay? We have strength and numbers. So, I'm gonna make it simple. I started a new page. It's Coach J C B D T Diller on Instagram, okay? And you can follow me on my page on Instagram because I had to start a new page because somebody reported my page. You know, when you in the entrepreneurship, they try to hate on you. But I started a new page. So follow me at Coach J C B D T Diller. You can click the link in my bio on my page on Instagram 
So you can just go directly to the product. So if you want to purchase Nutriverse, um, if you want to give it to your pets, want to give it to your children, it works. Um, it's good for your immune system right now. I took some yesterday. I doubled up on the doses because my throat was scratchy. I'm good today, bro. I couldn't believe it. And I was spraying. <laughs> Please, you guys can also click the link in my bio on Instagram as well and Facebook. Yes. Right. So, yeah, so we're gonna make sure that we get your you guys' websites where they could just click it and make it easier too. Yes. Okay. So check this out. How does one person like you guys have like the testimonials and everything like that? How does like a person like test your products out and how soon can they expect the results? Oh, within days. Immediate results. I'm gonna feel it. Um, we have samples. Um if you click the links in our bios, you can receive the sample within like three to five days. You purchase, you get a sample. It's only four ninety five for shipping. Um, you get well, it's like four days, right? Four days. So you can get four days. energy or or um, yes. instant tea. You can have an instant tea sample. sample, a coffee sample, or a coffee. because we do right. have coffee, or we have everything. So if you want a coffee sample, we have that. If you want a tea sample, we have that. And if you need an energy, and the energy gives you mental clarity and it burns fat in your belly. Um, you can get a sample in too. So now, it's just easy access. Now, if I was, I could probably guess yours, Tiana, but when it comes to both of you guys, who do you guys look up to as women to another woman? Yes, I would like to know your guess before <laughs> I have an answer. No, if you're wrong. Oh, bro? Yeah. Um, well, let's start with you. What's a woman in entrepreneurship that you look up to? That's hard. Because there's so many good people. But well, we'll come back to you. It's hard. Who's yours? Mine is Beyonce, the queen bee herself. I just <laughs> love, love, love her work ethic. She is no joke. Like, they probably say she really mean, but she mean for a purpose. Like, she got to get stuff yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. She, she got to she, she she get stuff amazing. done when she needs to get stuff done. Her work ethic is amazing. What she's done is amazing. She gives back when she wants to and stuff. So, <laughs> I, like, I just love her. I just love her. I like Tiffany Haddish. Uh, because me. Tiffany had it, she came from, she was homeless, she lived out of her car. Um, she now just came her own way, and she got her new special, and she chilling again. But you can see the growth from like, when I first started becoming an entrepreneur up until now, I had a lot of personal development, and I had to learn. And being an entrepreneur is not easy. Becoming a leader is not easy. But we make it look easy, but it's fun, right? We get more work done while we're having fun. I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't change nothing. I wouldn't take, I wouldn't, I would do it all over again if I had to. Better. So you guys mentioned that. How would you guys, in short, um, how would you encourage people who hit like rough spots in their entrepreneurship? Like, how would you encourage them to keep going on? Oh, I would say, I would tell them Just to trust trying. the process. Just trust I would the really, process. really tell them to trust the process because of the process, nothing happens overnight and nothing is given to you easy. Everything that is worthwhile is a little bit of work that has to be done with it. So you cannot expect to just be an entrepreneur overnight. You make, you know, whatever your product is and you put that out there that one time that people are going to be receptive to it. You have to be very consistent. You got to be very dedicated. You have to be very motivated. And even if you have those rough days, just know that everybody is going to have those rough days. You are not alone. Reach out to a, a fellow entrepreneur. Like and an have accountability a partner. Accountability partner. Yes. An accountability That's partner. Absolutely. We are get an accountability partner or a partners. team and somebody that can take the ride with you. Even if they're not entrepreneurs, just somebody that can be there when you are having a rough time. And your why, your why is what should drive you. So on those days when you're having a rough time, there's a reason why you became an entrepreneur. There's a goal that you're trying to reach or achieve or people you're trying to help or something. That should be your driving purpose. And if it's not strong enough to be your driving purpose, then maybe you need a new why. I'm just saying. I'll be a little harsh sometimes. I'm saying I'll be a little harsh sometimes. I'm real. Okay, I'm so all the way real. She's usually the one that's, I'm usually the one like that. See, personal development. So what I just say to people that's trying to be entrepreneur, um, don't give up. Um, don't get mad if your friends don't support you because yes. nine times out of ten, <laughs> like Louis, I love you, Louis. Thank you for having us. I didn't know this man from a can of paint, but he is supporting us, and I love him and thank you. And it was sure. all from being consistent, 
doing vending, um, getting my problems, being consistent every single weekend, every single day. Like I did not take a vacation and I'm a beach mom. I love the beach. And I didn't take a vacation in the summer. She went to DR. I stayed here. I held the fort down. I was bending, we bend, bend, bend. And then you just get the fruits of your labors. But it was hard. It wasn't easy. My car broke down so many times. I lied. What? And I said, uh, <laughs> I'm borrowing a car. Now, this is what, like, this is what it's funny. You guys, like, you, you guys are doing a live now, but I know you guys go live out the blue. Like, you say, y'all, uh, Pinky in the Brain, and this, that, and the third. Like, <laughs> Your lives, what do your lives be about? Tell the people because y'all so, gonna get some nuggets on it. <laughs> Every day, like, you know what? We'll just be having a conversation because she, we, we accountability for each other. Because when she don't want to do something, I'll be like, uh-uh, no, you got to do this. And then when I don't want to do something, she tell me the same thing. So it's like we, we feed off each other. Yeah, we feed off each other. So I can call her up and I'm like, what we doing today? She's like, I don't know. Like to work out. She lived, she in Norristown, I'm here in Philly. So I said, I know we're going to do, we're going to do a live, we're going to work out. But we separate. And people was watching us and they was looking for us to do that. Like it was just us showing that you know you can work out at home. She was working out at home, I was at the gym. Still talking to our people, letting them know that you know you don't have to have a gym membership. You can work out at home. You know, 30 minutes a day. We just try to be creative and just try to have fun. It's quite spontaneous. Yeah. We don't even know. Well, we not don't schedule stuff. nothing. Yeah. We just, it's I just like, it happened. <laughs> we really don't plan stuff. People think, oh, why you ain't tell me? I Yo, I, I apologize if we ever offend anybody, but a lot of stuff that we do is really not planned. Because entrepreneurship, you don't know what's going to happen. Right? So like, like, every day is something different with your business. You never know. I can start out real good in the morning. And then later on, I can have a bad, somebody getting on my nerves. And the next day, the end of the day, like, the, the end of the night, it could go real good. So, just don't stop. Well, um, when I talk to you behind the scenes, you said that you've seen people who look like you join TLC. Is oh, that yeah. a pretty diverse company? It is a pretty diverse company. We are global, actually. We have people from all over the world. But when I made that comment, I am not used to breaking bread with millionaires. I'm not used to sitting at their house and being trained and them dropping off the nuggets and giving me the blueprint of how to get there, right? I'm not even used to seeing us up close and personal. I'm used to seeing millionaires on TV that don't look like me. For me not to be inspired to be a millionaire, but now I know that I can get there. I can be a millionaire if I want to, and I can tell everybody else that they can be a millionaire if they want to because now I know the blueprint, and now I know how to do it. And because now I know how to do it, and I know that if it can be done, it can be done again. So now that I have the blueprint, and I can see that people like me are able to do that, and that there have been strippers with no, I'm not joking, strippers that dropped out in ninth grade that are now multi-millionaires. There were people that were in jail. That are now in this company say, that are you can go from jail yeah, to jail. Yeah, that's what I say. So you can go from jail, jail to jail, <laughs> seriously, in this company. And be in this building. And it's crazy, and I've never seen nothing like yeah. this. So I'm like, well, if these people can do that, and they like had the craziest, toughest situations ever, and these are the type of people that normally people count out, but if they can turn themselves around and they, they can become millionaires, and now they're not only becoming millionaires, but they're making other millionaires and leaving legacies. And like this business right here, I can, God forbid if anything happens to me, but if, if that happens now, this is my son's business. Yeah, it's this a legacy. legacy. I can pass it down. Like, oh, yeah, I can't yeah. work at Chick-fil-A and pass name. this down. I can't oh, yeah. do that. I can't work at Presbyterian and pass that down. But I can work here and pass this business down to my son. Now, it'll be up to him whether he want to take the check or work the business. That's up to him at that point. But at least he has that option. Well, this, good. this next question is basically rhetorical. It's going to be the easiest question of the interview. But do you guys like residual checks? Hell yeah. Yes, I was not supposed to say that. My bad. I'm so, sorry. I was going to say having that. It's <laughs> nothing like when you go to sleep, right? And you wake up and you got money in your bank. It's residual income. Money in my sleep. And it happened to me the other day with my sales. Like, somebody can see me talk to me but somebody can watch a live that we do and then I tell them like listen I can help you you got diabetes da, 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 da. 
they might not order right there, but next thing you know, they like, yo, can you help me? And then I got an order in my back office. I made it while I was sleeping, right? You now know? check this out, guys. This is LJ3 talking. You get residual income because you gotta talk to people. You guys gotta, gotta get out there, you gotta be in front of people, you gotta be constantly consistent. So my next question for the ladies is, how in the world do you guys find out about these vending events that I'll be seeing y'all at all the time? The, what? the vending events. Uh, it's like it's networking. Like you just said, you gotta get out there and talk to people. You, you have know, to it's research groups on stuff. Facebook. There's groups on Facebook that do vending events, and they have a whole group. All you gotta do is type in the um, vending event, type in the city you wanna go to, and then all this vending stuff will pop up, even on Google. So you go, and then you just find what event that might, you know, help you promote your brand. Whatever you sell, it could be candles, it could be glass. I've been seeing people sell. Uh, little pouches of juice with little alcohol in it. And they was making <laughs> yeah. the killers. Like, right. there's yeah, so we, many creative people in Philadelphia. Them. You talk to people. All yeah, summer yeah. long, we serve. We serve the people. We you guys have, everybody. I noticed that you guys have a lot of integrity. You guys got the uh, melanin popping women, black girl magic thing going on. So, when you guys recruit people, and I noticed uh, this happens with entrepreneurs. You have to filter out people who you want on your team or anything like that. Um, I know it happens with women more so than men, but how do you guys deal with people who just want to get on board with the company just so they can get close to you or the type of things that you got going on, etc.? We love each other, period. I welcome everybody with welcome arms. Open arms, you can come join my team. I'm not going to rush you. I'm not going to judge you. I'm going to show you everything that I know. Kiana going to teach you everything she know. And we're going to duplicate the system. And I'm not, I learned in the beginning, like, you can't get mad when you're trying to build a team and somebody don't want to do what, you know, at that moment. Everybody had their own time and pace. So if somebody joined and they just want to get close to me, you're going to hear me talk about a lot of DMT because that's what I'm going to be talking about. <laughs> when it comes to the business. <laughs> what about you? So, I think that um, people join certain things for different reasons. So, I think when somebody is coming into a business that you have to do filter them, but you have to filter them based on what their values are, what is important to them. So, maybe they might just come into the business because they're not around adults a lot, right? They need some adult time. They need some friends. They, they don't have family. They don't have friends. So, they just want a community. Maybe they might just be looking for some extra income maybe they just might need a hobby um so it's all kind of reasons why people seriously it's all kind of reasons why people may be coming to look for you for help so your job is to figure out what that reason is and do pretty much put them into the correct category so maybe they're just somebody that just wants this is a club person they're not really going to do no business they just come in for the party right this is another person. She's a customer. She doesn't really want to do the business. She likes the product, though. Yeah. She's a customer. Down this person, they got dreams. They got goals. They got drive already. They've got leadership abilities. That's the person that's going to be on the team. So you do filter people, but it's based on what it is that they need and what they yeah, want. Yeah, what they want to do. So it's, it's always that's, a that's way where somebody could come in and don't. Somebody could just be a customer. And they love the product so much that they want to be a life changer and they want to spread the word. They want to help everybody. And those are the people that we love. We love everybody, period. But it's always retail first. So when you try our amazing products and you see how good they work, you can't, you don't have nothing to lose. That's the thing. You're going to either lose weight, you're not going to lose no money because somebody going to see you and they're going to want what you got. So either you send them to us or you join us and they can come to you and make money. And that's our whole goal, to help families become financially stable. And the checks are real. It's not a game. Well, it's like a aura and a big glow going on right now down here at Liberty Place, guys, when you're doing this interview. So dealing with aura, you deal with heart. So in short, how do you guys handle people that you can't save? It's a it's a saying now that you can't save everybody. How do you guys deal with discerning, all right, boom, I'm gonna reach out to this person, but if I don't hear from them, all right, that's on them. Like, how do you guys deal with that? Like I'm having good. a big heart. You know what I do? I still send them the information. 
I still give them the information, even if they don't respond, because everybody got cell phones, everybody got electrical devices, everybody got email. Stuff do happen, but I'm gonna send you a voice message, I'm gonna send it to you digitally, so you can't say that you didn't get it, and you can't say that I'm not a good leader, because if you don't talk to me, listen, you don't have to, baby. I'm gonna still make sure you get that information. And that's the best way that I can be, you know, still nice to the person and not count them out. Because I don't want to count anybody out. I don't want them to say, oh, she, no man, she, no woman woman woman. Woman. she not helping me. No, I'm sending you the information. So you can either respond. Some people like, some people are introverts, introverts. So they don't want to be with a lot of people. So you, I just make sure they get the information. And don't count nobody out. Okay. Same question. Mm -hmm. So I agree. I think that for everybody moves at a different pace, right? So everybody not, might not be ready to go when you're ready to go, but you have to provide the tools for the person and the resources that they need to get where they got to go. Now, they say that you can uh, lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink, right? So that's the same thing with a person. You can give the person all of the tools that they need, may need to be successful, but it's up to the, them to utilize the tools. Now, if they don't utilize it, then there's actually nothing that you can do. You can check on that person from time to time to let them know that you're still there for them and that you're going to still provide them the tools and let them know how to utilize the tools. But it's up to that person to actually take advantage of the tools to make themselves successful. So you got to give them the information, but if they don't act, it's really nothing you can do. But still be there for them. But I still share. We still send people. This is this, this somebody that's in the business on my team, and she... It's doing good. She buying me, but I made sure I never stopped giving her the information because I knew that one day she would be ready to do it on her own. So I always made sure I sent her stuff because I didn't want her to not to receive the stuff just because she didn't respond. Because just because you don't respond don't mean that you're not interested. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know. Life can happen. Life, Life can happen. happen. So I just send you the information, still keep you in the loop. You know, shoot you a text sometime here and there. You don't have to respond back, but I know you saw it because they little head popped down. You know how I did. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you can do. Well, it's, it's obvious that you guys are persistent, so let's deal with time. Uh, five years from now, let's say you guys keep this thing going on with the IASO to everything and popping. And let's say you guys stumble on to a banging mansion. Uh, just changing the tone of the interview a little bit. What would be in your what would be a unique room that you would have in your mansion about five years from now? Um, a meditation room. Oh, really? Absolutely, a meditation room in my mansion. I'm, didn't I say that? I'm going to have a meditation room, and it's going to be set up here. You can come in, because I'm into the CBD industry. You can have your smokable CBD, no TAC, lights, common music, water fountain, relaxing, meditating. It's good for your body and your soul. Body, mind, body, and soul. That's what I'm gonna have in my mansion. In one of my rooms. <laughs> <laughs> so, why did you put it so close? I have a <laughs> what you gonna hear, Kiki? In your, I in your am mansion? going to have a fitness center and spa in my mansion in the basement. Okay. So that's gonna be awesome and amazing. That's one of the rooms. I can give you a whole breakdown of how my, my mansion is gonna go. Yeah. I actually have it That's on my a phone. good question. It's beautiful. It's amazing. So, oh, you guys want me? Can I show y'all? <laughs> Hold on. See, okay. isn't it beautiful? That is my mansion right there. So inside will be my fitness center and my spa. Okay. Did so, y'all see it or did it? Was it blank? I know. I went there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no doubt it's fun. Um, in closing, you, would, you deal with all types of different personality types doing this type of thing. You get people who are for you, you get people who are against you. Uh, you go through ups and downs, your resilience proves uh, your ability to go on and so forth. And then sometimes you have to be integrity and like when you're doing the MLM, it does become like a family-like type atmosphere. And I'm big on family. So in short, I posted a a stat on my Facebook page and I was letting people know men protect our women and I put that up for several reasons because one is just common sense but I'm more proactive than reactive but in this case like a lot of women been getting kidnapped, got the sex trafficking type of stuff and I'm just like men 
protect our women. Now, in some men's minds, and that's just some, they're like, hmm, well, women are strong these days, they're independent, they're doing it for themselves, they're getting money, what do they need my help for? And that's what one of the guys said in the stat after I said men protect our women. So let's make this a two-part question. When it comes to women being independent and strong and stuff like that, you think that women should take advantage of like being able to like have access to everything because you guys are doing really well. And the second part, do you think women being so strong intimidates men to do certain things where they would act out in their feelings? We can start with you. Oh, that was a lot of questions. Okay, so number one, I'm gonna just be straight up with these men. I don't care if the woman say, I don't need no man. I'm, listen, I don't need you. I want you. Meaning, I can take care of myself. I'm independent. I bought my house on my own when I was 23. And uh, I need you. I want you and I, I want you. So at the end of the day, like, it's certain things that I don't think that he should have said that. No, we independent. No. I, I'm the only child. I don't have no brothers. So if you a male and you in my life, you better be calling me, checking on me, Jay. I got a couple in my home. Hey, Jay, you all right? You cool? Yes, brother. Ain't nothing sexual going on, but they know I'm a single woman and I'm they checking on me. So with that being said, men, if you have any women in your lives, you got a sister, you don't want your sister being treated bad. Treat women good. And you always can tell when a man was raised a certain unit with their mom, some of them. Just some of them. That's a whole nother show, but anyway. Yeah. Show, I don't think that he yeah. should have been yeah. taking it. I think that he should have been positive because they're taking their <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, she just be having me cracking up. Sometimes. I just go on and on about it because I'm already paranoid about this kidnapping thing. She really is. People not that's saying what the movie that's, that's what the movie Get Out was about. No, for real. You got back up. We got some wild people in the group. I'll let you know about them. You got some security guards. Oh, okay, okay. So I definitely agree with her. I think that first of all, kudos to women who are independent and um, like powerful. Like I get that independent yeah. power women. I'm all about that, right? But in the same sense, I don't think we need a man. I think that we want a man. Like like she said, we want somebody to be there with us. We want somebody to you know take things on balance it's a, it's a balance right so in any relationship there should be a give and take so i think that that is number one but as far as the sexual trafficking and things like that women who do not have men in their lives sometimes become a target so if there is a man in your life right and other people know that then they're not going to do certain things to you, right? They're not going to say certain things for you. They're not going to be comfortable to doing certain things. So in that aspect of it, I feel like, okay, I understand the point where they say that you may need a man, but I want a man to do those type of things, right? I, I, I want somebody to be stable. I want somebody that, like, if stuff is going down, I can turn around and be like, like, like I want to be able to call this you there, you, like, you right uh, here for me? Like, you what's going me? on? So I get that part, right? Not pay for well, it. And I don't like the statement that was made either. Not Sorry. pay for the car to get fixed. But you know, if, if I'm going through something, like, I got a used car right now. If my car break down, I want to be able to call one of my homies and be like, what's up? Can you help me? Not come help pay for the car, but, like, help me at this moment because I'm a single. Check the transmission. And I need you. I need you to help me. Because there's certain things that a woman, I mean, they can but I don't want to get on the ground and change the tire and nothing. You don't want to, right? I can, but I want him. Y'all helping a lot of people right now. <laughs> it's okay. No, for real. No, y'all are. So, you know, but some real stuff, though. Well, people, in conclusion, you guys, I know it's a cartoon now called The Jetsons when we were younger. And it's basically the Jets. Yeah, the Jets is basically Jets taking place now. like right now. It's yep. twenty. It's about to be twenty twenty. It still look like nineteen eighty outside though. Because I'm waiting for that part. But what are your goals for twenty twenty going into twenty twenty vision? One of my goals is to be a director, and I just want to help more people become healthier in twenty twenty because people don't take their health serious. They play. And I'm gonna say my saying. I'm trying to give you the 411 before you have to call 911. I'm just that's me. I'm just telling you. I can't wait. Because you don't want to have to.
What's your 2020 goals? So my 2020 goals are I um I just I'm gonna be doing a lot of traveling because I got teams in all over the US, right? So I'm gonna be building. My 2020 goal is to build, build, yep. build, 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 build. Right? So I'm gonna be building teams throughout the US. Training. I'm gonna be doing a lot of training. I am going to secure a location that is going to be a permanent location for my Zumba so that all y'all can come out to that location. Oh, yeah. I am, I got a lot of stuff going on. So I, I, my bling boxes is going to be back in action. Um, I'm, not, I'm trying to put my own, I know it's a lot. I'm trying to have my own workout gear, right? Me, Key Central's workout gear. So it's a lot that I got in 2020. So I'm just excited. It's a lot going on. Well, thank you guys for the interview. That was definitely popping. So you guys have got a lot of people. Uh, do you guys want to give a shout out to anybody? Questions, comments, concerns? Mr. James. Okay. I want to give a shout out to Denise Lee and Buddy Lee because this is their anniversary with Total Life Changes, six years. Woohoo! That's a long time to be in an MLM company and they're making money and they're millionaires and they're sharing and helping others and they're our mentors so shout out to y'all i love y'all thank you you know oh and jack Fowler and and and, and john lacarvey and you know and all my customers oh my goodness and, uh, she like the, um, she i like the people team. on the uh, Look, award show <laughs> and, and she wait, keeps wait, coming wait. back like the people on the award show. <laughs> I'm practicing y'all for my speech. She, she got that, yeah, yeah. Like yes. the, the person that whips out the thing. Yes. And I want to thank. Yeah. And I want to thank. No, I'm going to hit one for. And I want to So I just want to thank the whole team Resilient. Shout out to y'all. Whole TLC. I'm going to give a shout out to Ambition because guess what? If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even have known you. Yes. Lou. So shout out to shout him out for to making this connection. Boom, gang, boom. Gang, gang. <laughs> well, 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 well. <laughs> That's what I'm going to give a shout out to. Shout out to everybody that Thank you for me. having us. I ain't I'm about to hype. whip out a whole list on y'all. Just shout right, out to y'all. We got a whole great list of people awesome. that we would really like to shout out. But don't be, don't, please don't be mad if we didn't That's shout out to That's why I say everybody. That's why I say everybody. everybody. Friends and everybody. family and everybody that know them. Right. And people in the future. Yes. All right. That's a fun interview, guys. Yeah. Signing off. Go to LC. One more time so the people can find you on Instagram. Okay. Instagram. Coach J C B D T Biller. You can click the link in my bio to purchase your nutri burst to save the animals and the children or whatever you want to do. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> I'm just playing y'all. No, it's Coach J C B D T Biller, and I love y'all and thank you. <laughs> so I'm Sparks Kiano on Instagram. S P A R K S K E O N A on Instagram. Sparks Kiano. K E O N A. I know it's a thousand ways to spell Kiana. Right. Yeah, he just did that whole joke last time. Yeah, that was me. He played me in that whole one. K E O N A. Okay. <laughs> That's why I just said Coach J, CBDT 